Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with this series on blockchain. Now till this point we have talked about what is blockchain, we have seen what is Ethereum and then in between we have talked about Hyperledger. Now see, when you talk about Bitcoin it is great, when you talk about Ethereum it is awesome and but still there is, there is some issue which we have to address. Now one of the issue about blockchain is it is awesome in the cryptocurrency world but what about the enterprise market? The only problem is whatever you save in blockchain they actually get stored on a distributed ledger. So ledger is basically a fancy word for database. So you can imagine we have a distributed database and you are storing all your data in the distributed database. Which also means that if you have a network of 10 nodes every node will have the database. That also means that everyone knows the entire data because blockchain is transparent so they can see your data so let's say that there are three to four companies here or organization and all not all are actually communicating so let's say a and b they are communicating and they want to share data uh, if they do any transaction all other nodes will come to know that hey these two have done some transaction so we need to have some privacy there right we need to have some secrecy because companies they don't want to share their data with everyone else and that's where we got a new project which is Hyperledger. In fact, we have talked about it. But inside Hyperledger as well, so it's a big update line, we have some small projects. When I say small, they are not small actually. Uh, so there we have some big projects like Hyperledger Fabric, we have Sawtooth and Fabric is powered by IBM. So it's a very big project and it is getting a lot of fame nowadays in the blockchain industry. And today we will see how to do a setup for Hyperledger Fabric. Now basically for Hyperledger Fabric, you don't have to do a lot of different stuff. Uh, they have the, given you an awesome script, you just have to run that script and everything will be installed on your machine. See if it's that easy, we don't have to make a video, right? <laughs> so Now of course you can go to the official website of Hyperledger Fabric and you can see the documentation, they have given the steps, you can follow them and it will mostly works. The only thing is you need a Linux based OS, okay? So we can also do this setup in Windows because now Windows also supports Linux subsystem so you can just enable that feature. So if you're using Windows you can just go to turn Windows on and off settings and you can enable the Windows subsystem for Linux and then uh, you can install Ubuntu in that and it will surely work. Uh, now for that you need to have a Windows Pro version so you, if you have Windows Home version it will not work. But we'll be using Ubuntu here and of course right if you are learning blockchain if you are learning Hyperledger why not install Ubuntu and use it right. Okay so let's let's get started so basically we need certain prerequisites for that uh, so if, if you can see on the screen to install Hyperledger Fabric you need to have these things in your machine. Uh, so you need a call because you'll be requesting for some scripts. Uh, you will be needing Docker, of course, right? So Hyperledger Fabric will give you an image you can, which you can run on the on your Docker, uh, Docker container. So you need these two things there, Docker and Docker Compose. Uh, you also need Go. It's because the Hyperledger Fabric is built using Go language. And that's why you need a Go setup. Uh, you also need Node.js and NPM. Now for the reason for this, in fact, you also need JDK. Hyperledger Fabric actually supports three languages. Java, JavaScript and Go. And of course we all know about Java and JavaScript but Go is also a powerful language which, which you can use. In fact the awesome thing is the fabric is built on Go as we talked about. Right so and if you are if you want to use JavaScript for Hyperledger Fabrics so if you want to do programming that you have to install Node.js and NPM. But what if you want to do in Java of course you need JDK there and I'm assuming that most of the machines nowadays have J JDK so I should have written that there uh, you need JDK as well. And then you also need Python 2.7. Now by default Ubuntu comes with 3.3x uh, uh, so you need, to, you need to have 2.7 so make sure that you download that as well. Now if you want to know the setup it's very it's quite straightforward you can just go to uh, command prompt and you can just run the scripts there. So first you can verify does your machine has curl so you can just say curl hyphen hyphen version and it will show you some version and some other stuff. If you're showing this version and anything about this it will the Hyperledger Fabric will work for you. Otherwise, you have to upgrade your curl. If you want to install curl, it's very easy. You just have to pass a command. So you have to say sudo apt install curl and then it will install curl for you. Now, since I already have it in my machine, so I don't have to do that. The next thing I need here is Docker. And for doc installation Docker is also easy. Uh, in fact, you can check, do you have Docker in your machine pre-installed? You can simply say docker hyphen hyphen version. And if it is giving you anything about this, it will surely work. I guess uh, about 18 point something always works for Docker and this is working for me. Uh, so you need Docker and you also need a Docker Compose. Now if you don't have Docker installed, again this, this command is very easy. You can simply say 
uh, sudo apt install docker and for docker compose as the same thing uh, so i can uh, so i can i can do that as well you have to also confirm do you have docker compose and yes, I have that. So anything about 1.21 is a good number for you. You can uh, go with that. So we have curl on this machine. If you don't have it, you know the steps. So I just have to pass the command. It will surely work. And we have to install Docker and Docker Compose. The next thing we need here is Python, right? So we'll verify that as well. So you can simply say Python version and you can see we got 2.7. Now, if you don't have 2.7 version, what you can do is you can just uh, go to Google and search for how to, how to shift from 3.x to 2.7 so you have to install 2.7 as well that's the important step we also need go right so we can verify the go version so we can say go hyphen version in fact it i guess it will not give you version number uh, so if you do that it will show you a lot of comments of go that means go is installed otherwise if you don't have go installed the step is very easy you just have to say sudo apt install golang hyphen go and if you say if you say enter of course it will it will install go in your machine uh, so that's it. That those are the steps. And uh, okay, one one important thing about Node.js, you can verify that as well. You can say uh, Node hyphen uh, Node hyphen small v. Yeah. So if you say Node hyphen small v, it will give you the Node version. If you don't have it, again, setup is very simple. Uh, sudo. In fact, if you have this command, if it is no, if you if you're not getting the version, it will also give you the command that itself. That's the awesome thing about Ubuntu or Linux, basically. And you can also check for the npms the same same way. So these are the prerequisites if you want to install uh, Hyperledger Fabric. Now, once you know these steps are done, once you know all these things, all these things are there. In fact, these, these are very easy to work with. Now, once you know that you have all this thing with you, it's time to execute the Hyperledger Fabric script. See, when you talk about Hyperledger Fabric, there are a lot of things you have to follow. But fortunately, Hyperledger Fabric, they have given you the script. Just run the script and it will install whatever things it needed to get it keep up and running. Now, basically, when you install Hyperledger Fabric, they also give you some examples. Now, they call it as Fabric samples. And in, the, in those samples, they have a lot of different uh, examples given. Example for Fabcard, we have uh, BYFN, which is your build your first network. Uh, we also have uh, commercial paper. So we'll talk about those things in the subsequent videos. Uh, we'll see how to build your first network. We'll also see how to load the application. And maybe we can see some coding part in the, uh, in the Fab, Fabcard as well. Uh, and basically, we'll, we'll try to do in Java first, and then we can see other languages. Okay, so one, so let's install Hyperledger Fabric here. See, one thing is very important here. When you run this script, it will do certain things for you. It, it will download the samples for you. It will download the Docker images. It will uh, download the Fabric. Now, in all those steps, it will go to the Git server. It will download some repositories for you. And of course, if you want to download the repositories, maybe the length of the uh, the length of the script will be long or maybe it will try directly try to create a new line feed for you or maybe uh, so th there are some issues we have to solve and for that we have to pass two commands basically to make it enable the first one is git config hyphen global so we have to make the new line feed false so we can say auto crlf and we have to say false so you have to make sure that this is false uh, and done the next thing we have to do is we have to say we have to enable the long paths so we have to say true those th two things are required and once you are done with this it's time to do the main thing so for that let me just clear this clear the screen and let's execute the command for that okay so before doing that i will just change i will make a directory here uh, i will say mkdir i will say this is uh, telesco hyperledger fabric and I will move to that particular folder so that everything will be doing that in everything will be stored in that folder. And now let me just run this script. Okay, so if you, if you want to run this script, it's very simple. You just have to say curl and then you have to specify this URL. I will give this URL in the description area. And uh, that's the and that's how you run the command. So you say enter. Oh, there's a there's an issue here. Oh, it's not zero, it should be capital O. Okay, and you can see the first thing it will do is it will download the samples. Uh, it will download the sample for you and it will be available in this folder which is Telesco uh, HF. Now with that it will also download the Hyperledger Fabric, it is bulky, it will take some time and by the time it downloads that, let me just take you. So this is the folder which I have created which is Telesco HF and you can see here we have Fabric samples. And if you open this you can see they have given you some projects which you can use. Uh, this is your first network here and this is the script you have to run for the further projects. 
it will do the setup for you. It will build the network. It will build the channels. In fact, one of the difficult thing about uh, high pressure fabric is the terms. So there are different terms available here. You have to buy hard them. Unfortunately, in fact, you don't have to buy hard them. Once you start working on it, you know it will make sense. And then we'll also see about Fabcard in the upcoming tutorials. We'll see about commercial paper and let's see what else we can take here, take here. And if you can see this word chain code, so chain code is basically a smart contract in Hyperledger Fabric. Oh, just a fancy term. Let's see what is happening with our terminal. It is still downloading the Hyperledger Fabric. So what I will do is I will just pause the video and then we can continue. And if you can see it is downloading 1.4.4 version, which is the latest one when I'm making this video. But if you're watching this video after some time, of course, you'll be having new versions. But what if you don't want to download the new version? So let, let's say uh, I'm using 1.4.4 because I have not mentioned anything. But if you want to specify the version, you can do that. So when you, when you are executing this query, just after this, you have to say the version number 1.4.3 or 1.4.2. It will download that fabric version. And you can see it is downloaded the Hyperledger fabric for you and it will be available. And now it is also pulling some other Docker images. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. So that, those are Docker images here. And that's done. So this is how you do a setup for Hyperledger fabric on your machine. Of course, we will we'll be also running a network here in the next video. So in the next video, we'll see how do you run your first network. So what is first network? So if you can see here, uh, this is your first network. And if you just go there, they have a script, which is BYFN, which is your build your first network. Run this script and it will build a network for you. And we'll see, we'll try to understand when you build a script, when you build a network, how it looks like. Now, what's also important is when you run, when you talk about Hyperledger Fabric, it has certain terms. Uh, and we also see those terms in the theory videos. So I hope you are excited for the Hyperledger Fabric tutorials and I'm excited. Uh, we'll see in the next video. So if you're enjoying this video, let me know in the comment section and hit the like button and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.